Hi YouTube, just another quick video. We're just going to terminate a Cat6 jack. Uh, this time it's the Clipsal. Um, we normally, or I normally use the Clipsal jacks um, at the far end. So uh, at the rack end I'll use the Crone just because they um, terminate nicely into the patch panels. Whereas at the other end, Normally we're using Clipsal equipment to like Clipsal power points and light switches and things and we it's nice just to use the Clipsal jacks um, just to keep it all matching and they're not too bad to terminate as well. They're um do that now. Probably say the crones are just a little bit easier because the loading mechanism makes it a little bit quicker and simpler um, to get the wires in than um and going straight into the jack like we do with the clips all but it's still pretty good all right so you've just got your color codes there, your A and your B. I'm just going to follow the A protocol. When I was taught to uh, terminate the jacks they always said try and put an extra half a twist if you get if the wires don't quite line up if you have the choice between doing untwisting it another half a turn or putting an extra twist on you should always do an extra half a twist um, which makes it a bit more difficult to terminate but it's supposed to be better for data transfer although you know in saying that I never have any of these fail based on that Maybe if you've got the $20,000 Crone cable verification system, it might detect such things, but um, yeah, I don't have any trouble. There we go. Got a wear wires started. Such. And we've got the clips or termination tool. That's so simple, isn't it? There we go. That's clipped in there nicely. And we just squeeze down, cuts the wires off. Pops back out. It's all terminated. Then we have our backing clip. There we go. And we're done.